Hello to all you Scorpios, this is your monthly horoscope for Scorpio for the first month of the year, January of 2020. Keep in mind you Scorpios to, um, you're the, to, to the fact that you're the captain of your ship and you only take what resonates with you in these monthly horoscopes because they are not tailor-made. Having said that, let's jump into this month. How, this month for the Scorpios is, although on a general level, I mean for all the signs and it's particular for the cardinal signs but you're not a cardinal sign you're a fixed sign for the cardinal signs it's pretty tough not really for the um for the scorpios because there is passion going on especially at the very end of the month i'm i'm, I'm keeping best for last and um, there is some really apart from eclipses and the saturn pluto conjunction there's also a very very amazing aspect going on with jupiter in the south node in all in your third house now let's talk about that first because saturn and pluto having the two bob the builders they are going to come together on the 10th of the no on the 12th of the month um they they are the bob the builders in your third house of the mind so on a positive level this is focus on a pit the pitfall is here to be too rigid in your thinking i've been talking about this for a long time that um a lot of scorpios are shifting the way that they think they are shifting the their their point of views basically and this is not different and Saturn and Pluto are doing this to give you big foundations like with a house if you want to build a house you want to build the foundations in a good way otherwise otherwise the house is falling down very easily so um, and as Scorpio and Capricorn they are energies that go well together I think that a lot of, of you Scorpios have really did a lot of effort towards that transformation of the way that you think of course on another level this is also the house of siblings so you could have a sibling that is going through quite a difficult time of their life or having a transformation there it could also be your neighborhood that their neighborhood is giving you a hard time and you really have to watch out how you communicate with these people because if you want to control them um it, it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen so you you hopefully have learned a lot about the way you communicate about that you cannot control other people's thoughts uh, that you can only control your thoughts and now actually the culmination of all of that in a positive way is the Jupiter conjunction with the South Node so there is an abundance here um, the South Node in 2019 was with Saturn that was a lot of restriction but now it's the opposite it's like karma is giving you something it seems like out of the blue but it's not um, you've been working a lot for that so that could mean that um, studies go well now and show some very positive results it can mean that you are going to teach now um, and that's going to give you a lot of uh, um, meaning and um, a lot of uh, understanding at the same time and uh, it could also mean that travel is stimulated here you know those short trips there um, so the third house is also communication your networking and and your um, maybe uh, you're going to uh, have now after all a new website or are or, or, uh, blessed with uh, someone who helps you with that whatever it is there is blessings there in that third house so a lot of uh, for you for those of you who have a business of your own this is really good in energy it might have been very tough to to do the PR and all of that and now it's it's giving you results and it's giving you support in a very professional way because it's Capricorn after all so mentally um, if you had it a bit rough lately uh, I mean on a mental level there is a certainly a clearing up now certainly the first two weeks of the month and that is a good thing and that is a really enjoyable thing now the the eclipse around the 10th of the month but you feel it the whole month is activating very strongly your ninth house that is the other um mental house so to speak but um with the north node there and the moon it means that you have an opportunity to do something new and to do something uh, if you want to get out of a rut 
uh, if you're saying, oh, it's same old, it's same old, I'm always traveling towards the same countries or um, I'm always studying the same thing. This gives opportunity to do something different, to do something new. And it gives you, in a, maybe it sounds strange, but it gives you emotional support because it's in cancer. So you could be traveling to countries where you feel at home. You could be meeting, if you're, especially when you're a man, you could meet a woman from abroad or from a different cultural background who gives you a lot of support. If you are a woman, the same thing could happen um, uh, with a man that you're going to attract, but that gives you that emotional security, uh, a very um, emotional, uh, nurturing kind of energy there. And but all, after all, it, it, it's all about um, uh, enlarging your horizons. It's all about seeing the bigger picture. And that gives you support. And, uh, you know, sometimes when things are rough and when rough things are happening that are out of our control, because this is all about things that are not in our control. Scorpios do not like that, but they understand it because ultimately the release is in the letting go of that control of which what you cannot control and they they feel a, a certain liberation out of that and uh, a lot of you Scorpios will feel very much more connected to all there is and uh, notwithstanding the fact you know that whatever problem it is that you're having or that you deal or adversity that you're dealing with in life I mean we all have on a certain level something more difficult going on this is now very uplifting energy to see the bigger picture and to putting it into perspective. Um, and that's going to help you in every difficult thing, actually, that you're dealing with. Now, last but not least, uh, that's more towards the very end of the month. Uh, you're going to have Mars in Sagittarius. Mars is your ancient ruler in the second house of self-worth. So it's a good time to hustle for the money, to go for your goals. Um, and it squares up with Venus, Neptune in the fifth house in Pisces. Wow, this is very romantic energy for the Scorpio. Although this is a square, this is very passionate energy. So for those Scorpios of you who are single, there definitely is a possibility to fall in love there and qu falling quite deep, basically. It's always deep for a Scorpio. But um, with Venus and Neptune, this is about a person that is very... Um, could be very spiritual, but very soulmate kind of energy there. Whatever it is, enjoy it as much as you can, but stay with the feet on the ground. Don't try to idealize this person too much, but it's going to be hard to do that. And when you are in a relationship, this can mean a very, very enjoyable time for you having fun with the one that you love and doing a bit more romantic stuff if you haven't done that already for a long time. So in an emotional uh, level it, it is quite interesting when you say that the understanding there uh, of the bigger picture but on a romantic it's certainly also with your fifth house being activated with venus in another fellow water sign this is really 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 good and really really nice for you to fall head over heels you know and although scorpios um well that's maybe more with someone with a moon or with a venus in scorpio they don't like to fall head over heels because they feel like they lose control. Again, that controlling uh, aspect there. But maybe now with that new uh, helicopter view that you're, you're gaining here, you might say to yourself, ah, a bit of magic every now and then is not a bad thing at all. Having said that, I wish you a very good month. Thank you for watching. And I want to thank all of those Scorpios who send me um, good support, you know, by either by subscribing, by watching my videos, by liking the videos i've been having um still a, a, a good growth of my channel and that is amazing um i feel very blessed because of that and that's all because of you i mean i cannot do this without you right and uh, keep on supporting and uh, thanks again and see you next month bye bye